Hi there. What I'm going to go over today is the actual GPIO pin uh, setup, really more the wiring. This was one of the areas I found the most difficult to find on uh, any uh, website. They usually kind of rush through it. So I just kind of want to explain it just for those people that are beginners. So I'm just going to take this off here. And we're going to just take a look at probably the messiest version you'll ever see. Because um, I haven't really cleaned it up yet, but I just wanted to show you that everything is a work in progress. So let's just make sure that this is in the shot here. Um, what I am going to point out here first is let's look at the joystick. So if you look at the joystick here, it doesn't matter what way you put it in. The main thing you need to make sure that you have is that you've got your ground wire set up and then you have your individual wires uh, going to the correct GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. So all you need to make sure that you do no matter what way you put it in, that you, you start your ground, doesn't matter necessarily where, and that you touch all four of the actual uh, buttons here. Because essentially what you're seeing here is, every time it moves, uh, it, it's connecting this in sequence. Um, so you need to make sure that you have a ground that goes the whole way around to all four of these, and then goes into a, a ground pin on the Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter which ground, as long as it's uh, on the ground on the board. Then, when you've mapped it out correctly, and I would put down, I would write it correctly here on the board underneath as well as on this system as well. Uh, what is up, what is right, what is down, and what is left. And then you'll see in the map, which you can find in the descriptions below, where this wire is going to go on there because it's, it's, it's predetermined. Now, if we want to now look at uh, the actual button management, you can yank these LEDs out really quite easily. And I like the LED buttons because I can pull these out so easily. So the first thing I'll talk about is uh, setting up LEDs. There is a 5 volt pin on here and there's extra grounds that are available. So essentially all I've done is I've basically taken, let's see if this will stay right here on me. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is I just wanted to show you how you find your ground side uh, and and the, the, the positive side. And the way you can figure that out is just by pulling out the LED and seeing which wire is longer. So you can see on here that this one's wrapped around twice, so this is the longer side. So I'm gonna make sure that, and this is what we did, is that the positive side is the red side, and that we shoved that in there. And basically, as long as you keep them all in line, and you make sure you double check, pull them out, take a look, and make sure that all the wires along this side are basically attached to the positive side the whole way through and then sync that into the 5 volt pin and then on the ground side sync that in as well and make sure that that goes to the uh, 5 volt or the uh, to, goes to your ground. Uh, additionally if I spin this around now you'll see that we have another ground and this is for our actual button itself. So when it's actually clicked uh, we actually get a response. So essentially, it doesn't really matter where, but we have a ground that goes across all of them. The way I find out which one my ground is, you can pull it apart if you want and take a look inside. But typically, it's the long side is your ground, and then the shorter side is the actual one to connect to, and that's the same thing goes for the joystick. You can look at it and see that as well. Uh, and again, the map will show you, if this is button A for player one, the map's gonna show you player one goes into this joystick. So again, this looks rather messy, um, but this is how you can set it up. Uh, I mentioned it in the previous video, but if you want to have an uh, on-off uh, button as well, you can do that. Uh, I just um, added this into the LED sequence. So the LED sequence is brought in to player one, but the ground and the actual GPIO that I use are pin number. They are pin number three and then the ground right there. That will give you an on off switch. And so I've separated that from player one and from player two, but the LEDs are still attached to the rest of the system. So that's basically it to get set up in a nutshell. So I, I, I hope that explains it. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment below.